you, Brenda, for that wonderful message that very foundationally uh, established in Scripture and in your own experience, uh, calling all of us as followers of Christ to put that into action. Thank you for being with us today. We're going to pray uh, our regular prayers of thanksgiving and intercession. We're going to pray for Brando and the work that he does and those that he works with. And we're going to pause in the, in the prayers that we speak uh, for you to bring a prayer, maybe with your own words to speak it, or if you just need to, to have a moment of silence, to pray, to bring before God what's on your heart, uh, then we will uh, present that uh, in these moments. So let us bow in prayer and thanksgiving and intercession for the work of God in our life. Faithful God, we do not have enough words to thank you for all that you have given us and the love you share with us in Christ Jesus. In the silent spaces of this prayer, help us review the week just past, remembering the ways that we encountered you in the beauty of creation, support of friends, the wisdom of books, the joy of music, the energy of exercise through study and prayer. Lord, in the moment of silence that we hold in prayer, hear our prayer. God of comfort and challenge, we are grateful for your presence in these uncertain times at home, at work, and at school. We give you thanks for your attention to the small details and the large, and the large responsibilities we face. Make us attentive to the needs of those around us. We do pray for Brando and the work that he does with the skateboarders and, and through all of the ways that he has made connections uh, to show the love that he has experienced and to allow it to permeate his life to touch the hearts of others. Make us attentive to the needs of those around us. In silence, we name before you those finding these days especially difficult. We pray for those who have lost loved ones. We pray for those whose loved ones are in hospital, receiving care, receiving surgeries or procedures that are life-saving or just, just healing. Lord, hear the thoughts and the prayers for each person on our heart. God of persistence and inspiration, we remember before you the many who struggle to recognize your presence or fail to hear your voice amid all the competing voices in our world. We pray for those feeling depressed or anxious, those facing grief and loneliness, and those who are worried about their health or their future. Hear our prayer. For each person we name in prayer, do not forget these people, even if they forget you, Lord Jesus. Comfort them and fill them with your peace. God of justice and leadership, 
We pray for our country and nations of the world facing immense challenges. Guide decision makers in these complex times and keep the hearts of those with resources open to those who do not have enough. We pray for places where justice is lacking, where violence threatens, where leaders are untrustworthy. And especially, we continue to hold areas of our world that are at war with each other, very damaging, destructive turmoil in the lives of, of so many. We're mindful of of the wars between, the continuing war between Russia and Ukraine. Lord, we've been holding them in prayer and we continue to do so. We pray for the, the war that's happening between Israel and, and Palestine now. The devastation that we hear on the news every day. While the news wears out after a couple of weeks or months, and we seem to not hear much, we know that the damage continues, Lord, and let us be the people who keep alive the prayers for all those in need. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen voices of wisdom and acts of courageous compassion to tend the needs of people most at risk. God of grace and guidance, you call us to be your hands and feet, your voice and comfort in the world, following the example of Jesus. Equip us to respond to the needs around us in his name and make us bold to get started right here and right now. For we dare to pray the words that Jesus taught us as we sing the Lord's Prayer.
many speeches will be made over the next nine months and we will be sharing all the different things that you did with us but we do hope that um, the nine months will be a time for you and your family to look at where am I going now? So thank you for your nine months with us and please give us the blessing for today. You'll hear more from me as we go along and now that this is public to you, this is public to all. Uh, the church, the national church uh, has heard from me, the regional church has heard from me, the MNP has heard from me, and now you have heard. And so uh, I am thankful for the time of ministry, but um, I'm not going to do a lot of talk tonight, uh, today. Uh, one of the things that I do have to do, and after even this news, um, I am also the pastoral oversight for Latin United Church, who are in about 15 minutes starting a minute of meeting to set up their committee to look at getting a new minister there. And I'm oversight of their congregation, so I need to go and be with them. So it's not that I'm running away from you because of this announcement, it's because I have other responsibilities. But I will be around here for another uh, nine months, and we look forward to the continuing mission and ministry that we do together. Thank you all.